footage on the live stream, people. They are working hard. Look at Oscar Endicott in the 64. He was really working over that cart to uh, warm up the tyres as they come off the final turn to face the start. Formation looks good up the front. Lights out. Whoa, the three NZ of Count Burt. I thought he was a little bit slow off the start, but fortunately for him, so was the man on grid number two. And about to exploit that is the North Island champion. Jay Irwin is going to lead a race for the first time here today. Well, Jay stormed away off turn number one. We saw him do this six months ago in Hamilton when he won a North Island title. This young man, the light switch has undoubtedly gone on. Same with the number 99. Keep an eye on him as well, Blake Corrin. I was talking to Terry Corrin in the pits the other day. Yesterday, I think it might have been, and he said exactly that, the light switch had gone on. It's a term I use a lot for these youngsters when they finally figure out what a race is. Then they start running at the front of the field. That happened to Jay Owen perhaps 12 months ago. And he will lead down the back straight. Takes a quick look back through turn number 11, keeping it clean. Corrin is pushing hard back there in fourth place. Jay Owen leads from Kian Burt. Judd Christensen's in third. Blake Corrin is fourth. Oscar Enicott, Lewis Newton. And they are ducking and diving further back from fifth place through to ninth. Currently in fifth, 64 Endicott. Then it's 24 Lewis Newton, Lockie McGregor, Blake Dowdle, Hugo Neal. Let's see if he can make a charge in the 86. Well, Bird is fast. He's starting to close in a little bit now on Irwin. Irwin a little bit tentative under breaks down there into paperclip. Too wide further back, jostling for position. Hugo Neal on the outside, can't make it stick. Too wide again off the bottom of the paperclip. That'll slow up the progress of those two drivers as they made a little bit of side pod contact. Round through the sweeper at the top of the circuit. Look at that for a stunning shot on the live stream with the blue sky in behind as well. Their apparel master, Cadet Rock. Now the challenge from Burt. Off turn 11, he's buried in the back of the North Island champion and Irwin knows it. Burt makes the run, down into turn number one, covers the line and will retake the race lead. A young man that, oh, contact. Looks like cart number nine of Lockie McGregor. And is it the 11 of Blake Dowdle? Yes, I think it is. Dowdle's getting, oh, look at him animated, slapping the steering wheel, not happy. And Irwin's back in front. Looking at that incident on turn one, and Irwin went back to the race lead. And this has allowed Judd Christensen to stay in contention, and along comes Blake Corrin in the 99. Well, I can tell you, Terry Corrin will be a nervous man right now. And this is only pre-final action, Terry. He goes very tight up there, almost running up along the grass there for Blake Corrin. Where is the 42 Ashton Phipps down in 14th position? Fastest on the racetrack was Kian Burt. He did get a toe down the back straight and he's gonna have another go at turn number 11. One of the rare times that we've seen a pass there on the final turn and here comes Christensen. Christensen fires it up the inside and Corrin goes through also. Well, Irwin was leading the race just half a lap ago and finds himself now down in fourth place. And he will go very tight down into three. Gets a fantastic line through that corner. He's gonna be careful not to force his opponent wide. That was a nice clean pass up the top of turn three. Irwin goes back to third. Corrin got caught out in that situation. He'll have to come again, but it certainly split up that top four. They were nose to tail a few corners ago. Kian Burt, three NZ. Top qualifier, pole position start pre-final. Leading here with about three laps, four laps into this pre-final. Still a long way to go. Shuffled up the pack. You can see them too wide further back on the run up into the sweeper. Right up the top there at turn number eight. Brilliant images again. Here come the race leaders. You can see them tucking in behind the wheel. Jan Burt through turn 11, leading from 25. Christensen. Look at Irwin, he's only a little guy. Still tucks in behind the wheel though. Corrin's in fourth, Lewis Newton fifth. Top six for the Manawatu, number 86 of Hugo Neal. Seventh is Fletcher. Look at Big Red. Buzinalos, he's come through into the top eight. Well, that's probably the best performance so far of the weekend for the 96 from Australia. Have they found the magic ingredient? As now we look at Kian Burt, 
getting worked over by Christensen. Christensen's fast. Taking time to look back to see where Irwin is. Should just focus forward on that 3NZ right in front. Blake Corrin in fourth. Let's see if he can regroup. Up through the top of the circuit to switch back. Wow, Cowan Burt's fast there. Opened a couple of cart lengths. You see uh, Christensen. He needs to be careful how much he moves his body weight around in that 25 cart. There'll be five to go. We're half race distance. Who's fastest on the track? 102.2 for the race leader. 102.1 for Christensen. 102.2 for Irwin. Corrin there in fourth place, 102.4. Change of position from the 24, Lewis Newton, going back and forth with 35, Isaac Fletcher. Let's go right through the field here and have a look at 41, Mitchell Corrin down in 18th. 19th is Ethan, Ethan Church. 20th place, Oscar Ennicott. 21, William Edmonds. Then you go to Maxim Kerwin and Jacob Early. They're still battling it out on the racetrack. Well, Kian Burt still has a narrow lead. It was only 0.18 last time by. And Christensen's hauled him in again. This is where Kian Burt was fast right there. And he is fast through that switchback. Look at that. He opens up two cart lengths. I don't know if we saw that clearly on the live stream. Trying to look outside and on a screen at the same time. Through turn number 11. But I can tell you that Kian Burt is very quick from turn 8 through to the final corner at 11. Four laps to go. Christensen's hauled him back in again. 102.0 for Kian Burt, 102.0 for Christensen, 102.2 for Irwin. Irwin's lost a couple of tenths on them. It could be a two-man shootout to the finish of this pre-final. Proudly brought to you by TCL Apparel Master. We've got a cut off through the uh, through in the infield section there at Paperclip. His race is done. As we have again, have a look at, at uh, Christensen. We'll look on the live stream now. You can see Christensen's right on the back of the race leader as they come through this long sweeping turn to the switchback. That is right there where Kian Burt's fast. Do you look at it? Mm, didn't open up as much of a gap that time. In fact, Christensen's found the line and he is right on him. Christensen found what he needed to on that second half of the circuit and with three to go he's going to challenge down into one and Kian Burt knows it. Oh I thought Christensen was going to dive down in there. Maybe that's a smart move by the 25 because the North Island champion further back would probably have closed up a little bit more and perhaps even Blake Corrin. Now he's going to have a go up at turn three. And here comes Kian Burt on the outside. They don't want to be fighting it out through this infield section. It compromises too much race pace. Is Kian Burke going to throw it? Well, he thought about it. I'll tell you, there's some sensible young drivers out here in this race. Picking the right moments to make a pass. Christensen leads off paperclip to the run up the mountain. Oh, a little bit slow off that turn. Let's see what Kian Burke can do at the top of the circuit. He closes up. He's definitely got a strong race cart, the 3NZ. Gets in behind him again. Tightening up through the switchback. Will it be Kian Burt's time to have a go down here at turn 11 or will he leave it to turn 1? You can almost see that cart disappear and behind the 25, here comes Kian Burt. Has a look, he pulled out of the draft, he couldn't do it, oh, Christensen's gone wide. Dropped a couple of wheels off, shakes ahead. Will that be a problem here at turn number 1 as he's got some dirty tyres? Kian, oh, it sounds like someone's cart just died out there then, I can't see it. The run up into turn 3. 102.3 for Christensen, 102.5 for Kian Burt, 102.4 Irwin, 102.1 Corrin. Corrin's picked up a little bit of pace. Kian Burt all over the race leader. Just got to pick his moment. They have got two and a half to go. Christensen's got to stay composed. These two could start on the front row for a New Zealand title later today. As Kian Burt goes out wide, is he going to drive around him? I don't know if he's got that much horsepower in that 3NZ cart. Slots back up the inside, just trying to build up momentum perhaps. Will he get a draft down the back straight? He's tucked in behind. He is able to close up. He's not close enough to have a go though at turn 11. Last lap board is out for the pre-final. One to go. Christensen looks right. Kian Burt was on his left. I don't know if he even would have seen him. Third place is Irwin, who comes under threat from Blake Corrin in the 99. Then we go back to Hugo Neal in fifth, and Isaac Fletcher in the 35 is running top six. That's a good battle of four carts right there. 
Oh no, Christensen makes a mistake up on the curb. It cost him, it threw him wide, and Kian Burt was there to pounce. Burt now looks left to see where Christensen is as they go through the switchback, through the uh, paper clip on the entry of the infield. And Christensen's absolutely right in the back of that 3NZ cart. And Corrin is caught up to Jay Irwin. Now it's uh, the time of Kian Burt to look back. He looks over his right shoulder. Christensen, we know he can make a pass at turn number 11. Will he do it again? Nose to tail through the switchback. Kian Burt, though, is so quick through there, so consistently fast as they come down to get the checkered flag. Kian Burt should be able to bring it home from here. He started on pole. He's prevailed and will take a pre-final victory from the 25 of Judd Christensen. Jay Irwin hangs on for third. Brilliant drive for the 99 Blake Corrin in fourth. Hugo Neal will take a fifth place. Sixth place will go to Isaac Fletcher. Seventh. Well, that's a good fight back for Ashton Phipps. Don't discount Ashton. He has some great pace this weekend. 30 of Jamie Thompson is eighth. 96, Peter Buzinalos. Big Red, the Aussie, up into the top nine. Tenth place, Arthur Brown. Eleventh was the 11 of Blake Dowdle. Twelfth was the eight of James McDonald. Thirteenth for the five of Kerr Botha. Fourteenth, nine, Lockie McGregor. 15th, 98, Alex Rose. 16th, 31, Ethan Church. 17th was the 85 of Harry Scott. 18th place for the 41 of Mitchell Corrin. 19th, 4 of Maxim Kerwin. 20th is the 64 of Oscar Endicott. And your final finisher out on the racetrack in 21st position, 36, William Edmonds.